Let's get slashing. Load game. Boner. Right. I was in the middle of things. Uh, Shell had tripped in the other room when I had to bail previously. And so I had to get her a nice back and make sure she was okay. Because um, we've been both feeling kind of under the weather lately. Ow. Okay. That hurt a bit. Here's my... Oh, here's my weird makeshift axe. There we go. Okay. Uh, we've been both feeling, like, way under the weather lately. And... So it was kind of a... Let's see, how much ammo do I have on this? I've got an amount. Oh. Okay, so the freezer beam... That freezer beam slows me down. But it doesn't actually... There we go. It doesn't actually hurt me. Serious risk in this room. For what should be fairly obvious reasons, but... It's not, like, super bad. Alright. Come here, you. There you go. Perfect. Everything is good. Alright, and we get a... Nah, it's just a... Crash wand. Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay, I don't think... I don't think I see a way up in here. Yeah, there's there's a door on the upper floor that we gotta get to. That's that's the actual way up. We don't wanna deal with that. Huh. Okay. What we probably need is some kind of secret path. Okay, let's just There we go. <laughs> uh let's see. Speaking of, don't I have a quest? Have an enemy die from walking through acid. What? Oh. Okay, I've never heard that sound before. Let's see. Do I got Yeah. I've I've got some spikes here. We just got to get this guy. We just got to get this guy over here. Come on. There's the shield clipping through the ground. I'm surprised the shield still has collision after you kill one of these guys. There we go. Mischievous Cleaver. I'm really curious what charged weapons do. That's something. Holy shit, that's some armor. I mean, the only thing I really like about the anointed chestplate of Deicide is the fact that it has sword speed. The rest of it I don't think I care too much about. Also, we need to find... We need to find a good amulet or a ring or something. Because I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, speed sluggish. Why is this better? It shouldn't be. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what I can do here. Because there's a, there's a possibility I can still fit this. There we go. And I haven't leveled up yet. And I don't know if and when I'm going to level up in the way that I want to. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to ignore the... The fly. Okay, I don't have to hit the door. Okay. Is it going to come my way? No. Okay. I'm not really digging this music. Let me switch it. Like, this, this music is really bad. Okay. Let's let's switch over to some synthwave. I need something to keep me awake. I'm really tired. I've I'm sure a number of you guys watching this know that I, I played Ring Fit, have played Ring Fit. I don't have my weapon equipped. There's gotta be 
I'm really curious if this would hit me on the side. It probably would. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I play, I I've played Ring Fit for like exercise, but I stopped after kind of the pandemic started because I was just tired and depressed, and just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, let's see. Well, here's the merchant. I don't think I. Oh right, I want some of this stuff just specifically so I can. Chop it up into bits. That's what I was going to do. Do we have a smithy in here? No, we do have a shoot, but no smithy. All right. Anyway. So I see spikes. But you know what I also have? Okay, that hurt a bit more than I wanted it to. But it's fine. Okay, uh, let's see. So I, I've started doing ring fit again, just as like a means of feeling better about eh, about myself and other things, and just exercise is good. Unfortunately, that means I'm like super bushed and am not that awake. I also recorded like a bunch of de demon souls yesterday, so I'm extra tired. So here's the question: I've got the exterminator. I'm not really going to be using the exterminator around anymore, am I? Like, it's a good weapon, but I think it, I think it's actually time that we get rid of it. Oh, but we probably want to just chop it up. Okay, I'm going to put this on for a second. What is... What is charged weapon? Wait. Every swing has a 100% chance to deal 30% melee damage to up to four nearby enemies. Melee speed is reduced. Oh. So, it's like this. I'm not sure if I want that. Well, what do I want? Do I want money? Okay, there we go. I just suddenly had like a really bad sore throat. And I was like, okay, this is annoying. How do I deal with this? I'm going to buy that. I don't have that much money, and I kind of want to save a lot of this stuff to see if I can chop it up for bits. Do I? Do I actually care? Also, we also have Cryomastery versus Cryomancy, and I haven't invested in either of those. Well, this this sword doesn't have anything fancy, so I can I can just sell this. I'd like to chop weapons up into bits, but I don't know how useful it's going to be. So I, I think I'm just going to sell a couple of these. I'm going to hold on to the exterminator, just because. Do I... It's tempting to get rid of sword speed, just because I'm not going to be investing a whole lot of points into that for a while. Oh. Well, that's a also a solution. Okay, so I said I needed a better ring, so we're going to grab this ring. We might get a better one, but I was thinking... I've been finding a lot of these enchantment scrolls all over the place. That... The enchantment scrolls give me... Uh, let's see. The enchantment scrolls give me, like, permanent stat points on an item. And I was thinking, one of the big issues that I run into with... Uh, with them is, how do I... How do I keep it? Okay. So we've got a red boy there. There we go. Uh, let's see. How do I keep those bonuses? And for some stupid reason, I was applying most of my enchantment scrolls to my weapon because I figured that was going to be the thing I carry with me the most because it was the highest tier weapon. The thing is, that's the worst idea. I You really do not want to enchant weapons or armor in this game specifically. Because those actually come with permanent, uh, or not permanent, statistical increases that you can't just ignore. Uh, namely, you know, weapons just raw DPS. That matters. And so, uh, let's see. 
And so it's it's foolhardy to put all of my enchantment scrolls on my weapons when those are the ones I'm going to need to replace the most. Is that like a weird spiked bottle? It is a weird spiked bottle. Whereas conversely, the rings, some of them have statistical, statistical advantage, advantages that are actually useful. But my assumption is it's better for me to enchant them because, like, most ring bonuses are minor at best. I really gotta get more powerful sack. Okay. Luckily, I can just shove this guy backwards. Okay, we don't have anything else. There we go. Hey, we got another treasure map for it. Cool. What else we got here? Oh, we're here. Wait. This is a different room entirely. I messed up. Okay. Like I said, I messed up. Rest in peace, Wand. I know I know there's specifically a an upgrade that makes it so you don't just squander your wand. But I didn't invest in in it because I'm a goof. Okay, I'm just going to go here and hope the fly comes to say hi. It does not. Well, flip side. Oh, well. Okay, you. Stay away from some of this stuff. Don't think I'm going to get much of a kill streak on this. But I'll take what I can get. There we go. Okay, is that everything? Kind of. We, we've still got Shooting McDudesy. This is... An, this is honestly kind of an embarrassing wand to be using here, but... Oh. Never mind. You just have to bait, bait the fly and everything is good. Cool. Okay, so we've got one more door over there. Here we go. Yeah, let, let's see what's inside here. Ow. Somebody waited too long and the answer was it was me. Okay, this is where I came through. Oh, no, wrong door. It's that door. Okay, here we go. So where does this take me? Well, I don't think it matters. I, I think that's it for this floor. I don't think there's anything else that I've missed. No, let's just kind of grab those. I know we've got a merchant here. I don't know how much I care to sell everything as I go by. But I might as well sell some of it. Because we get... I mean, money is, money is good. Oh, is this... Oh, no, this isn't, this isn't so bad. Can you eat corpses? You don't eat them. It looks like you're eating them, I I will grant, but what you're doing instead is you're actually uh, searching them for parts. Because I have a 5% chance of finding like a crafting component in a... Uh... I should probably dump this down a chute. Oh, no. Actually, what I want to do is, is salvage it. That's what I want it for. Because I want to, I want to see what happens when you, when you salvage a, a purple. Because we haven't done that yet. I guess I should probably wait until we have the better salvaging perks, but whatever. A very thorough search indeed. Look, if the man has the, the haft of a hammer hidden in his bumhole, I'm going to find it, and I'm going to make 
Good use of it. Ethics be damned. Okay. No, this ain't it. Okay. So here's a conundrum. Oh, there's the door. I was wondering how to how to get up here. There we go. Now that secret's open. First, I have to get through the hell room to get get to it, but that's okay. Well, it's not really a hell room. Here we go. Okay, mediocre lump. Most of this stuff is pretty bad. Okay. Here we go. Take me to the promised land, which is upwards. Whoop. Luckily, this game, it doesn't have coyote jumping, but you can, like, straight up hang on the sides of platforms. Which is, I think, part of the reason why I get uh, stuck on stairs. Because it, like, the climbing physics get kind of screwy. Well, that could have gone better. That's okay. You're right at the end, I choke. Oh well. I mean, has to happen at some point. And I was just complimenting the, the parkour in this game as actually fairly serviceable. Okay. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the a lot of the loot here is just trash. Wait for the spikes to go by. Not that I really need the damage, but still. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't hurt that bad. Oh, there's an enemy still here. Oh, there's multiple, in fact. Okay, good to know. Oh wow, this is a shoddy wand. Okay, but we've we've been through this whole pathway, so it's not a big deal. Pyro Mastery. Okay, I haven't even seen this one. Your melee fire damage is random proc chance of 0%. Instead, every fifth hit is a guaranteed proc with fire damage increase of 600%. Okay. I would love to see what higher levels of that specifically accomplish. Because it could be amazing. Or kind of pointless. Okay. We've seen everything. I, I guess I could technically go for this shoot. But I think I'm just going to go up. Okay. Floor 7. Let's see if we got a blacksmith. We do. Now let's just see. Got him. Oil with the green sack. Okay. Got kind of lucky on that one. Technically could have used this acid. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, right. I forgot. 
I can parry magic now. Whoops. I think this is a situation that calls for explosives. Okay. Luckily, they're not that bright. Makes my life a lot easier. Huh. Yeah, look at this completely meaningless dead end of nothing. <laughs> Level design. Okay. And instead of risking it, there we go. Yeah, let's just let's just actually back up and not put our put our butt towards the shooty bits. Okay, what about you? Oh. Never did actually get the button in this room. How does this room work? Fairly basic. One out of three. I... I'm really leery about how this works. So let's let's not risk it. Like I I could. And who knows? I might be totally fine. But you you don't know. Anybody else here? No. But I do see some spikes. So let's let's utilize those. We definitely need Oh, well. I was going to. Excuse me, sir. Goodbye. Thank you. What else we got here? You. This. New weapon. Yup. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to invest in, in crafting. And so I made my own weapon and it actually turns out to be really good. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Alright. So exit should be... Nope. No exit. Whoa. Okay. Exquisite helm about to fall apart. Well, it has improved sack. Alright, let's take a look at this. Let's lose the standard issue wand. What is this? This has cryo mastery, so there, there's somewhat of a reason. Uh, that's a bad wand. Bad wand. There's some, somewhat of a reason. Hello. Increases wand charge by a very large amounts. Cool. I don't think I want to send anything down because I really want to chop up the exterminator and see what happens. Oh, shoot. Looks like progress is actually locked behind the, like, a switch puzzle. Okay, well. I'll make it work by going ever upwards. There we go. These don't have to sprint jump for these. I'm always worse at judging the sprint jumps. Okay, there we go. Oh. Whoop, whoop, don't walk off. Be embarrassing. There we go. Okay, into the pit we go. We... I found a secret. The secret is you have to go this direction. Let's 
Excuse me, slime. Get in there. Thank you. Oh. Glow in the dark glow in the dark pauldrons of commotion. Great stats, great melee knockback. A lot of good bits. Okay. I don't quite have space for it. Okay, there we go. We kind of made it. Not the proudest, but that's fine. Alright. So let's disassemble that. And disassemble that. So, it looks like uh, disassembling a higher tier weapon does not actually come with any kind of major benefits here. It really just does give you whatever the hell. So in that case... It's a bit of a letdown. Okay. So what does what does my shoulder pad pad give me? Nothing great. Uh, let's see. Do we have a merchant here? No. Well, in that case, no, we don't have the silver key yet. So I'm gonna drop these two. And we do have a shoot, but I'm gonna have to go through a jumping puzzle to get to it. So I'm not super keen on that. Okay. Toss the mediocre lump over there. All right. Yeah, let's let's just keep going. Is this? Yep. Level design. Yeah, the dis disassemble only scales on skill, which is actually really encouraging. Like on one hand, it it sucks a little bit. On one hand, it sucks a little bit because I just wasted a purple. On the other hand, that means if I invest heavily into that skill. Anything can pot potentially be consumed into being, like, a, a fantastic crafting component. How the hell? Alright. Ow. It got me. Okay. Uh, so even, like, the most basic of items that the, uh the just regular goons drop could potentially be chopped up into like an epic tier crafting component. Potentially. There's no guarantee on that one and maybe maybe there's a bit of an influence, but that means I don't have to hold on to purple items specifically uh, just to make sure I can chop shop them correctly. Because it don't matter. Okay, so we're going this way. Hello, you! Okay. This slime is too aggressive for my own good. Let's stay the hell away from it. Stay the hell away from you. Oh. I've got a damage streak. Not honest. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I want to bother with that one. Let's just take a, a peeksy doodle at this room. Hello, my good sir. Ow. Didn't quite work. Yes, freeze your own friend. Thank you. Okay, come here. I'm not entirely sure. Ow. Okay. So I don't see any spikes here. Yeah, I don't I don't see any spikes, so I think I'm just gonna have to kill that guy regularly. Hello. It's okay. I've gotten good at the regular method of murder. Ow. 
rude. That's okay. Like I said, getting better at the regular method of murder. So let's check some of these things over here. What do we have that I could get rid of that I don't really need? I mean, honestly, these component parts aren't actually very good. So let's grab that. We don't have any merchants, so there's that's not really worth a consideration. What I want to do, run back to the run back to the forge, see what I can get for this. Nope, wrong way. There we go. Disassemble all of these things. Yeah, it's pure trash. So we really got to scale that up because currently disassembly gets me nothing of value. I mean, that one cross guard is good, but I don't, I think I found that as loot. Okay, grab that. So I think it's too early for me to care about cryo mastery slash I'm not sure how much I want to invest into it. I love the idea. Oh, wait, no, hold up. Maybe Cryo Mastery is actually amazing. Yeah, your opponent will be frozen. Frozen is different from being slowed. Let's see. I don't have any skill points. Next level should, should give me... Yeah, let's go up. Let's take a look at this. First and foremost, let's pop one of my many maps. Right, so we already we already have access to the dumping grounds. Let's just make sure it's safe. Because I don't want some goon wandering these halls and making me regret my existence. Okay. So, we have these skulls who are considerably less dangerous than they used to be. I want to lure them in so I can actually hit them. I want to just go in here. But I don't really have much of a choice. Okay. There we go. Those suckers hurt. And will probably continue to hurt for quite some time. Okay, so how do we get up how do we get up to this dude? There you are. There we go. As somebody said in the YouTube comments. By the way, you can actually stun them out of shooting you with a sack. So I guess now I know no good way of dealing with these dudes. It... Uh, that is a rad looking book that I have no use for. What the heck? Alright, whatever. It you, you would think maybe like a skill book or something. Oh, wouldn't that be rad? Just very occasional loot that actually just gives you a permanent skill level. In something. There we go. Blessed Skiavona of Bad Luck. Range knockback, pyromastery, gold. Alright, well, that's an incredible sword. So, technically, this one does more damage. And has icy swings and some other things. Okay. So what I want to do is pelt that guy. Here he comes. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. 
You don't need to fight things in this game. You just need to delete them from existence. Let's reload a couple of times. I could stick around to fight this guy, but I've got loads of ammo. I really got to get my myself a much better wand than what I already have, though. Okay, so what is this? It's a doohickey, nothing more. Oh. We get some ammo. We get a donut. We get a revitalizing drink, and we got some other stuff. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for this guy. Oh. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm just going to sell that. So, the first item that I get every floor is free. I mean, I could look at some of these other things, but I, I think it's kind of meaningless. Okay. So, these glow-in-the-dark pauldrons of commotion are not actually that helpful. And this is cryomastery, but I... I'm still not sure if I'm going to be investing in that ever. I, I think I'm just going to sell it now because I'm not going to be able to make good use of it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go send my my axe down at the very least. I'd like to be able to keep the rest of my equipment. But if it turns out that, you know, I, I don't make it, I die somewhere along the way. At least I've left behind an amazing weapon. Okay, how much do I believe? Well, I'm stuck in here anyway. Yeah, how much do I believe in myself? How much damage can he take? Okay. Oh, it makes weird noises. It's still here? Yes. Got it. Quest complete, new skill gained, kinetic parry. Parrying a melee attack has a chance of... Well, that's incredible. Okay. So, I guess quests can, in fact, give you skills. I also apparently cannot parry all of his wand blasts. Oh, let's just let this happen. Okay. Now we just stay the heck away, and we're golden. Perfect. So we got the quest we, we wanted to finish. We got these. Probably should have used the invin invincibility thing, but alas. Okay. But the problem is, we don't actually... We don't have the secret door. Oh, but we know where it is. So I think my plan is going to be... Here? Ow, oh, balls. I think my plan is going to be get one more level and then probably peace out. I'm not quite strong enough to deal with all of these. I'm getting there. I'm getting particularly mighty. But I'm not quite at that stage yet. So what else do we have around here? Loads of empty space. There we go. Okay. That's a dead end room. It's okay. Doesn't do too much damage. And I consumed his body. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't want to shoot me shoot at me anymore, but I'm not gonna complain. Hey, and there's the silver key. 
So we can technically leave whenever we want, but I don't really want to stick around too much. Because it's much better to repeat the lower floors uh, to get the levels. Huh. Oh. This is one way to do it. Alright, I see that guy there. And then just be very careful. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, next up we have this guy. Okay. In retrospect, and respectfully, okay. Spider's still here, but that's fine. Spider cannot touch me. I am a wizard. I'm a sack man wizard. So here's here's the question: What do we invest in? Honestly. As much as I want to get some of the other things, Kinetic Parry might be the one I want to go for, because that's the one guaranteed that I cannot bring with me no matter what. Oh! Deals extra damage per occupied slot and causes extra knockback, plus an additional defending... <laughs> that's really cool, actually. I like that. So let's, let's perma-learn Kinetic Parry. This way... This way we keep that forever. Ooh. Don't go down there. That's... That's the bad place. 